As a multi-business owner, I'm frequently asked about the secret to managing multiple ventures effectively. Over time, I've honed a strategy comprised of five key principles that guide my approach. Today, I am so excited to share these insights with you. Okay, jumping right in. My first strategy, setting clear visions and goals. For example, at my Jersey Mike store, my goal is to increase my bread count by ensuring that we maintain a consistent supply of fresh, high quality bread. This involves optimizing inventory management, establishing strong relationships with suppliers, and implementing efficient baking schedules to meet customers' demands. Additionally, I prioritize training team members to uphold the highest standard of food preparation and customer service. A clean store is also paramount as it contributes to the overall dining experience and reflect our commitment to excellence. For my day spas, the goal is to maximize the utilization of every treatment room every hour of the day. This requires strategic scheduling of appointments, effective marketing to attract a steady flow of guests. I also invest in staff training and development to ensure that therapists are skilled and efficient delivering exceptional service to guests and maximizing revenue opportunities. In both businesses, I prioritize tasks and strategies that directly contribute to achieving these goals. This might include analyzing sales data to identify trends and opportunities, implementing promotional campaigns to drive foot traffic, or investing in equipment and infrastructure to enhance operational efficiency. By maintaining a clear vision and measurable goals, I ensure that every decision and action is aligned with moving closer to these objectives and driving overall business success. My second strategy is delegating and empowering. Delegation is a cornerstone of effectively managing multiple businesses. To streamline operations, I've appointed dedicated general managers for each of my ventures. These individuals not only possess the necessary expertise, but also share a deep understanding of my overarching goals and vision for the businesses. Our weekly meetings serve as a platform for collaboration and strategic planning. For instance, in the cases of our laundromat, my general manager and I convene regularly to delve into various aspects of the business. We start by meticulously reviewing earnings from the previous week dissecting the data to identify trends and areas for improvement. This analysis formed the basis for forecasting expected earnings for the current week and subsequent weeks. This allows us to adjust strategies and resources accordingly. Furthermore, these meetings aren't just about numbers. They're an opportunity to set clear objectives and align our efforts. We discuss our overarching goals for the month ahead, breaking them down into actionable steps, ensuring that progress is made consistently. Additionally, my role extends beyond simply providing guidance. I actively work with my general managers to troubleshoot any issues that may hinder their goal attainment. As mentioned, our discussions aren't limited to financial matters. We address operational challenges, customer feedback, and employee performance, we are pretty much seeking to enhance every aspect of our business's operations. By fostering open communication and collaboration, I empower each of my general managers to take ownership of the business while offering support and guidance as needed. Ultimately, this collaborative approach ensures that each business operates efficiently and effectively by entrusting capable individuals with decision-making authority and providing ongoing coaching and support, I can focus on overarching strategies and growth initiatives while having confidence in the day-to-day management of each venture. Okay, moving on to my next strategy, data-driven decision-making. In managing my various ventures, including my Airbnb property, I prioritize making decisions based on concrete facts and figures. The Airbnb property is a good example of this. By harnessing the power of data analytics, I ensure that every choice I make is grounded in empirical evidence rather than assumptions or gut feelings. It's easy to get caught in the loop of making a decision based on how you feel about something. Because let's be honest, our feelings change over time, for some more frequently than others. For instance, when it comes to pricing my Airbnb listing, I rely on detailed analysis of market trends, competitor rates, historical booking data. This allows me to set optimal pricing strategies that maximizes revenue while remaining competitive in the market. 
By leveraging data analytic platforms, I can track performance metrics such as occupancy rates, average nightly rates, and revenue per available room to make informed pricing decisions in real time. Guest feedback is another invaluable source of data that I use to drive decision making. By closely monitoring guest reviews and ratings, I gain insight into areas for improvement and identify opportunities to enhance our guest experience. Whether it's addressing cleanliness concerns, upgrading amenities, or implementing additional service, I prioritize actions that are backed by data-driven insights to ensure that my Airbnb property maintain high guest satisfaction levels and positive reviews. It's as simple as a guest mentioning, hey, you listed that your Airbnb sleeps six, but you only have table settings for four. Guess what we do the next day? We buy additional table settings. So we're able to act in real time. Data analysis enables me to identify trends and opportunities for growth in the vacation rental market. By examining booking patterns, demographics, and demand fluctuations, I can tailor marketing strategies to target specific audience segments effectively. Whether it's launching targeted advertising campaigns or offering personalized promotions, I rely on data-driven insights to drive bookings and maximize occupancy rates. The point is, by making decisions based on facts and figures, I can confidently steer all my businesses towards success in a highly competitive market. This data-driven approach ensures that every action I take is backed by empirical evidence, ultimately leading to improved performance, enhanced guest satisfaction, and sustainable growth. Overall, by instilling a culture of data-driven decision-making across all my businesses, I can ensure improved performance, enhance customer satisfaction, and sustainable growth in a highly competitive market landscape. This holistic approach to business management not only drives success in individual ventures, but also strengthens the overall resilience and profitability of my business portfolio. Okay, moving on to my next strategy, which is transparent communication. Communication is paramount in ensuring alignment and cohesion among my teams across all businesses. I prioritize transparency and collaboration, fostering an environment where every team member understands our collective goals and their individual contribution towards achieving them. One of the ways I ensure transparency is by openly sharing the financial performance of each businesses with my employees. While some business owners might shy away from disclosing earnings, I firmly believe that transparency cultivates trust and accountability within the team. When employees understand the financial health of the company and how their efforts directly impact its success, they feel a sense of ownership and are motivated to work towards shared objectives. Regular meetings and updates play a crucial role in keeping everyone on the same page, whether it's weekly check-ins with my general managers or team huddles at the start of each shift. These forums provide opportunities to share updates, discuss challenges, and celebrate achievements. By facilitating open dialogue and encouraging feedback, I ensure that everyone feels heard and valued, fostering a culture of collaboration and continuous improvement. I make it a point to emphasize how each team member's success is intricately tied to the success of the business as a whole. By aligning individual goals with overarching objectives, I empower employees to take ownership of their roles and contribute meaningfully towards the company's growth and prosperity. This approach to effective communication not only strengthens internal cohesion, but also enhances overall performance and drive long-term success across all my businesses by ensuring that every team member understands our goals, feels valued, and is empowered to contribute. I can effectively manage multiple businesses with confidence, knowing that each one is operating cohesively towards a shared vision. The last strategy that I'll share with you guys is maintaining personal and business pursuits. Despite the demands of entrepreneurship, I prioritize carving out dedicated time for both business pursuits and personal life. Rather than attempting to multitask or find a strict work-life balance, I recognize the importance of fully immersing myself in each aspect of my life separately. 
when I'm focused on business endeavors, whether it's managing operations, strategizing growth, or addressing challenges, I devote my full attention and energy to those tasks. I prioritize efficiency and effectiveness, ensuring that I make the most of my time and resources to drive success in my ventures. Similarly, when it comes to personal and family pursuits, I make a conscious effort to disconnect from work-related concerns and fully engage in meaningful activities and relationships, whether it's spending quality time with loved ones, pursuing hobbies, or simply relaxing and rejuvenating, I recognize the importance of recharging my batteries and maintaining a sense of fulfillment outside of work. While achieving a perfect balance between business and personal life may not always be feasible, I strive to create harmony by dedicating distinct blocks of time to each aspect of my life. By avoiding the temptation to multitask or blur the lines between work and personal time, I can fully immerse myself in the present moment. Whether I'm pursuing professional goals or enjoying moments of leisure with my family and my friends. Ultimately, by prioritizing both my business and personal pursuits and making a conscious effort to avoid simultaneous multitasking, I can lead a fulfilling and purpose-driven life that includes success in both my professional reality and my personal reality. Until next time.